right now due to social distancing. You're in luck. Film critics Chuck and Pam join CI Living's Tim Sinclair to share four ballpark movies in today's Real Talk. With all these social restrictions in place, the Major League Baseball season hasn't started yet. We're all aware of this, right? Film critics Chuck Kaplinski and Pam Powell are here, though, to suggest some baseball movies that may help us fill in the gap. And dressing the part is Chuck Kaplinski in the Sox gear. I like it. Thanks. You know, they're undefeated. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> And uh, as are the Cubs, Pam, so uh, we'll, get, we'll get to you and your jersey yeah. here in just a second. The Sox are supposed to be uh, quite a bit better this year, so it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see once they start playing games if that, uh, if that holds. But Yeah, it's, they made big improvements, so it's been really heartbreaking to me and a lot of Sox fans that the season hasn't started yet. And although it's no replacement, you know, movies do help us fill in those gaps, and there's so many baseball movies it was hard to just come up with a couple obviously the first one and what is considered the best baseball movie and maybe even the best sports movie is bull durham uh ron shelton's uh examination of the minor leagues with kevin costner as catcher crash davis in one of his best roles uh he's been brought into a minor league team to uh teach a young pitcher named Lash LaRue, who they say has a million dollar arm and a five cent head, how to play the game played by Tim Robbins. And if you know anything about baseball, this just gets the feel of the game and how important it is, not just to the players, but to the society as well. Uh, I'm sure people have seen this, but this one never, ever gets old. Uh, you have a second one on your list and it references a football team, but <laughs> it's the yes, bad news bears. Yes, but not in the way you would think. Uh, the 1976 version of the Bad News Bears, not the remake with Billy Bob Thornton, the original with Walter Matthau, who is irreplaceable, and we see Tatum O'Neill in one of her roles as the star pitcher of this ragtag little league team, who is of course a disaster at the beginning, but they come together as a team uh, as the film goes on. I remember my parents taking me to see this, me and my brother, and them turning, and I caught a glance between them as the foul words were flying back and forth and the glance was like my god we've made a mistake these kids shouldn't be here but i remember loving it and i saw it about a year ago and i still love it then you can't go wrong with this one i think every parent has probably been in that exact situation at one time <laughs> or another we'll move from the south side now to the north side with pam powell and uh, she's donning the cubs jersey looks good pam thank you sir i actually have a socks outfit but i just wanted to be antagonistic, I guess, to Chuck and wear this lovely Cubs outfit. Kind of American comes League, natural to you. It, it's yeah. okay. Uh, you've got two movies for us as well. Let's uh, let's go through those quickly here. I do. You know, there are a ton of baseball movies that I had a list of probably about 20 different ones. But what I wanted to do is share a couple that I think flew under the radar. And one of them is The Phenom from 2016. Johnny Simmons stars, who I think we just don't really see enough of this kid. He's a great actor and he plays a character named Hopper Gibson. He's a talented young pitcher who is signed on to be in the major leagues. I think he's a little too young to have done that. And he ends up with a case of what they call called the yips which is being a, not being able to throw the ball adequately, accurately, has a lot of wild pitches and errors. Well, this sounds like it's pretty comedic. It's not. It's anything but that because he undergoes psychotherapy to find out what's going on. There are a lot of deep scars which have been caused by his relationship with his father. And his father's played by Ethan Hawke. And this is one of Ethan Hawke's more unusual roles because he's unpredictable and he's extremely unlikable. Um, Simmons handles his role with great finesse and together they are unpredictable magic and of course Paul Giamatti is in this film and he plays a psychologist and of course he does a phenomenal job with this as well it's really a home run of a film without that Hollywood ending and you can see it on Amazon Prime Video now your second one we're gonna have to hit quickly but it's one I've wanted to see and I've heard so many good things about it called Moneyball yeah, 2011 stars Jonah Hill and Brad Pitt, and it's the Oakland A's, and they're failing. Brad Pitt plays Billy Bean, and he uses Peter Brand, who's played by Jonah Hill, uses his numbers game in order to predict the right players to pull in to be able to create a winning team. 
great film. Jonah Hill is serious, and he does a wonderful job with this. I think it really shows and highlights his feelings. And, of course, it's got Brad Pitt. Can't lose with that one. <laughs> well, if you are missing your baseball, Chuck and Pam to the rescue with some great baseball movies. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. And we'll Thank post you. all of those details on our website. Make sure you check out Chuck and Pam's uh, website and Facebook page as well. We'll get you all of that information at CILiving.tv.